Welcome, welcome. I am Ryan. This is Monster Train. Uh, let's get another run going. We'll be able to unlock the Umbra for sure this time. We only need to play six units, so we should be able to do it on our first first fight, hopefully. Well, no, we won't. Second fight, we'll get a hero, unless we get some random units. But let's see, what do we not have? We have not completed a Covenant rank with these guys. Hellhorn awake, Awoken Allied. Uh, we've done the Awoken with both, and we've done the Stygian Awoken we have not done, but let's go with these guys. I'm not a big fan of the Hellhorn hero. He's very powerful, but I, d I just don't find him as fun. Battering Ram could be fun. We could try and do a, an overpowered armor build. It's a little better with the Stygian. Because you can just get ridiculous amounts of armor, frostbite on this, and then spell weakness and do a few thousand damage with one card. Um, friendly units get plus two on a kill or 20 magic power for sting. Those are both really good, actually. I like both of those. Um, let's do friendly units get plus two on a kill. And then maybe we can get multi-strike. We did not get multi-strike. We did get Slay. We could just min-max. Min Do we have any of the third tier of these unlocked? Maybe we want to go for a, a third tier unlock on the heroes. I like to unlock this stuff. Where are our heroes? I, doesn't, I don't know if it shows it anymore. Oh, here we go. We have third tier of Wraithful unlocked. I think I unlocked that in the challenge that I wasn't recording. We can't do this one, so maybe we'll go for the third tier on Reaper, and we'll just super min-max that. See how it goes. Now, unfortunately, we, we won't have any beefy units to put in front of him and keep him alive, and we got spikes. We can ascend all our stuff to the same row. This card is worthless for now. I still haven't mastered the Train Steward. I might keep one in my deck just to master that card. Or maybe I'll keep him unmastered to Covenant 25. Man, that first upgrade is so useful. But I just don't know if we can do it. We do have Regen, and we do have Glimmer. Glimmer can help us take out backliners. He doesn't have multi-strike. We could just go for the luck of the draw. Sure, why not? Okay, let's see how this goes. We're going to have a hard time. I think we have to, yeah, we have to do it this way. That'll keep him alive a little bit. We did not get the kill. This will help. I think we want the gold. And then that keeps him alive. Or do we want to keep the champion alive? He's only taking five damage. Oh, he's getting damage shield. I think we are in a lot of trouble. This might keep him alive. That'll keep him alive so he doesn't get damage shield. Yay. Okay, well, I think we got to do this. And this. And I think we want to kill that guy so we can drop another train steward. But. Yee. Okay, well, this helps. We might actually need to ascend these guys. Let's ascend. Because otherwise we're not doing any damage. Ascend. Ascend. We kill this guy. We're still in trouble, but not as much. Glimmer helps a lot here. He 
he'll die in one shot. This might work. Do we want to put a second one there? Yeah, that kills him. All right, that worked. Those spikes were very bad for us. There we go. We did unlock him. Umbra. All right, so our next run will be the Umbra. We could go for more Ascend. I don't know if we want to, though. That's kind of overkill. The Molting Imp might be good, though. Molting Imp and... We'll take a Wildwood Sap, maybe, or Restoration Detonation. We don't have that one mastered, and we'll go for an Awoken unit, hopefully. We did get Awoken on the side with the Merchant of Steel, so that's good. Thorned Hollow. We love Thorned Hollow. Large Stone on the Thorned Hollow. Keeps him alive. Plus 25 health. Keeps him alive longer. And I think we're looking good now. Do we want to rage something? No. No rage. Ten armor. That does make it these guys difficult to deal with. The haste. Once we get our spikes going, we'll be fine. We do have quite a bit of healing cards, though. We might take some damage. But we needed we need more units. We need more units, so we'll go for it. Here's this. And then these guys are going to be on the second row. Or on the top row because of the haste. So I think what we do is put these guys up here. Glimmer. Maybe. He's doing 5 damage. And this will do 4 damage. It won't kill him. We're taking damage on the pyre. But we do want to kill this guy. Let's go here to get more thorns. We'll kill the, the collector. And then I think we just go more thorns. We're not quite in killing range with the thorns, but we'll be able to finish them next time. So we took a little damage. This will kill these guys. Maybe not the best play, but we did it. I think we just need to give him more health and nothing will get through to the second row so that train steward doesn't matter. Spikes. Let's get rid of this thing. Or we could get rid of the haste. Well, they're all dying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we took two damage. Two damage is worth it for the unit. Um, I don't think we want any of that. Razor Sharp Edge, or another Restoration Detonation, or a Sharpen. Sharpen could be good. Um, I think what we want to do... Well, he's only got 6 health. The Razor Sharp Edge would be good for getting his Slay started. But I don't think we can lower him that low on the health. We don't... With, especially not without armor. If we run into anything with spikes, he's gone. We'll do another Restoration Detonation. And a steel worker to put in front of our champion. Keep him alive. Chip away at the health of enemies before they... Uh, so that he can kill him. I mean, we could copy the Thorned Hollow. But that's kind of boring. What units... What awakened units do we not have un, uh, mastered yet? Or uh, not have unlocked yet? We got a shard channeler. We got a few. We could maybe get lucky and get a wilting sapwood. Let's go this way. We'll get it. We'll go for the artifact. Awoken Hollow. I mean, if we were gonna take that, we would have just copied. We'll go with Awoken Hollow. 
plus 10 in piercing. Piercing is good. We don't have any stings yet, but I like to at least have a few. It's a, I, I like the card. I think it's a good card. Trample could be really good. Or do we want quick? I mean, we've got an Awoken Hollow. So Trample could be really good. Or Trample could be good on the Hornbreaker Prince. Let's take the Trample. We probably want to reduce the cost of that at least one. Daedalus. Or we need that Thorned Hollow before the Awoken Hollow. That could be the problem if we get the Awoken on the first turn. And we didn't. So that's good. And we also got a Glimmer. We can do that. And I think maybe we'll do this. If we do this and then ascend the Awoken Hollow... Is that something we want? Sure. We can do that. Well, if we ascend him, he'll be in the back, so we can't do that. So we'll go here. Our champion might just die. Our champion might just die. This imp will be helpful down here. And this guy can protect our champion. I don't know if our champion's going to get any kills, though, because... They've got to make it through these guys first. Regen on the Awoken Hollow would be good. <coughs> we'll take that. We'll stick this guy in the front, maybe. And why not? That Steelworker, is that what it's called? Steelworker? This guy. Steelworker could be really good with... Um, What was that card we just discarded? Battering Ram. We can set up some combos together later on as in the in the run. I think we do this to get rid of the bomb. Then the question is, do we want to trample? Or do we just want to... Let's just buff this guy up. They're all dying. He's got good health. Although... I think we want as many thorns as we can get. I think we just want to get as many thorns as we can. He's dead. Let's keep him alive. We have nowhere to put the train steward. Although, we could do some of this shenanigans. Final wave. Oh, this is good. Dead. We got the large stone thorn hollow already. Okay, so these are more armor shenanigan cards. If we could take a both, I would. I think this one is more useful if we want to do some kind of shenanigan combo. This one's more essential. This one is better. It makes it more powerful and faster. But this one, I think we kind of have to have if we want to do that kind of a thing. But the problem is with that... If we don't get it at the right time or we can't maintain our armor, then it does nothing. So we'll take that one. We'll take the Ancients. And I don't. we don't want any of that. Another... I think we want more room. I think we want more room. That allows us to put our hero behind the Awoken or the Thorned Hollow. Spells, the other thing we could do is remove consume on there. I think we've got good units. We don't need units. Let's go this way. We'll get our two health back. Hold over. 
What do we want to hold over? If we removed consume on that, we could hold that over, but we haven't removed consume on it yet, so it won't let us even do that. We could hold over on this and just drop it every turn. Sure. We'll start that build. Why not? And we'll reduce the cost of it. We'll have to play it every turn, which means we'll need more energy eventually, but I think for now that's okay. Let's uh, make this restoration detonation twice as powerful. Or not restoration detonation glimmer. And we're min-maxing on our champion, so we'll take that one. Do we have an opportunity to reroll? We can double stack. Well, we're going for the armor cheese. Why not? There's that. And then I think we do 10 power on a glimmer. Then we've got one of these upgraded and one of those upgraded. We are going to want to get rid of train stewards soon. I don't like pain to get rid of them. Spikes is going to be a problem for our champion. We might have to dump the ancients on the champion to keep him alive against spikes. Random artifact. I think we can do it though. What is the... F 95? We might have trouble on the first few. If we get a restoration dent, if we draw this and this on our first turn, I really don't want to be getting weight of contritions though. But always challenge. Not always, but. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get that one. We got a different guy. Either way, he's going to give us a contrition. We could split them up though. Actually, let's do that. Let's go here. We'll bump him up a row so he dies. And then we'll... Okay, I think that works. Glimmer here. It kills the that guy in the back. But we also... Oh, that kills him. That kills her. We kind of want to play the Awoken Hollow, though. Just to get him out so we can start healing him. Making him grow... Okay, this is no good. This will kill, though, if we do a Glimmer. If we do a Glimmer, we won't even have to ping him. And we'll get more spikes, yeah. And then I think we put a Train Steward. And let's put a Train Steward here to protect his armor. Okay. I think we gotta go this way. He's dead. We have not paid any attention to our Awoken Hollow. We haven't needed to yet. Oh, our hero did die. Our hero did die. Well, this kills him. Easy. But I don't know if we want to do that. We might just want to heal the Awoken Hollow a couple times. Because then we'll have to play this again. Yeah. Let's just go here. Here. And we could combine these rows. Sure. I don't know if that's a good idea. Glimmer. Is he dying? He's not dying yet. That might, this might kill him though. That, that kills him. So even though that guy doesn't die, he doesn't move up because the boss dies. Ooh, both died. And is that it? Is that, is that my favorite relic? Or my favorite artifact? It is. <laughs> okay, that makes the armor build even easier. Bind, branding right is good. And we'll take an engraft, maybe, or descend. The problem is we're getting a lot of spells that cost a lot, and we haven't reduced the spell cost of anything meaningfully yet. The engraft could help with reducing or with getting energy. 
we'll take an end graft. We really need to get some key spell upgrades if we're going to do this armor cheese. I think we want to remove cards now. I think we remove train stewards. And then we can upgrade our Awoken Hollow and maybe get some more use out of him. Large stone on him? Sure. I love the large stone. And spikes? I don't know if we want spikes. Spikes on this guy might be okay. Yeah, because he's going to have a ton of armor, so they'll just keep running into him. The bosses will. Um, I think on this guy, we kind of would rather have multi-strike if we can get it. We are not going to refresh there because we don't want to see... We aren't going to be able to pay for any of the ones we really want to see. Multi-strike is fine because of our thorns anyway. So stuff will die on the first strike once we get it going. Unfortunately, we can't kill that guy to use the restoration detonation on the back line. But I think we'll be all right here if we do this. Do we want to play the steel worker though? I think we do. And then I think we just do this. Not quite enough to kill that guy. But that's okay. Maybe next time this will be enough. That kills him. We kept the train steward, but nobody cares about train stewards. Okay. This goes up here for sure. I think we put this guy... Well, we can't put him on the bottom row. So we put him here to absorb the hit and kill the backliner. We do Glimmer here. Kill the backliner. And I think we ascend this guy. So that he's in the back doing nothing instead of in the front blocking. And then he doesn't die and trigger... The other guy's trigger. Trample. I think we want trample here. Although we could keep the battering ram for holdover. We're really going to need more. We're going to really need more um, energy after the next boss. It gets rid of the spikes. Branding right. Okay. That works on him. That's really good with restoration detonation combo as well. Do we want to put it on him and kill that guy? Or do we want to put it down here and give him more life to survive with? We could... Well, he's going to die either way. I was thinking about ascending our champion to get the kill, but he's still going to die to the to this guy first. We just keep him alive, I think. This, he's got a lot of damage. Oh, no. He's not going to do any damage, though. I didn't even think about that. Um, let's go. It's only taking 200-something damage. I think we... See, this is the problem with him having only six life. I should have put the alloy of the ancients on him. Um... I think we, he's not going to do anything either. He's just going to die too. He only has 8 health. The sweep is destroying the little guys without much health. Okay, that works there. And do we play this? We might play this. If we play this just to hold it over, then we'll have it next time for sure to get the kill there. Do we care about points? We'd have to do 70 more damage. That's not going to do it. We'll hold this over. All right. Well, and you get to see a little bit about of this strength of this card. That could kill him too. Or almost. 
420. Vape Nash. All right, we did it. We'll take that. I don't know. We need 25 more gold. Ascend in days. No. Consume. Anything that would consume. The double stack. Sure. We'll take him. We could play that twice. And draw another card. Or some stings. I do like stings. And we did get piercing. Let's take that. We need some stings to make that worth taking. All right. Let's uh, try and hit these spell upgrades we need. Double stack. We don't want to double stack that, I don't think. <laughs> Remove consume. Mm. We will reduce the cost of this to help with our energy. Double stack, double stack. I don't think we want to double stack that. It would give us a lot of armor, though. Let's re-roll. There we go. That's what we needed. Okay. Is that what we needed? That might not be what we needed. <laughs> oh, we need to reduce the cost of this one for sure. It's already got hold over on that one. Let's hold over on this so it gives us an extra energy every turn once we draw it. And plus 20 and remove a uh, torch. Sure. I don't I think maybe there was some better options, but I think those would be good enough. We're doing fine here. Let's visit the caverns. Um I don't know if we want it. This might be actually powerful with the plus fifteen pyre attack. Sixty and it'll do three times. Sure. That can help us out, possibly. Probably want to reduce the cost of it as well. We've got a lot of expensive stuff. We really need to take um, another ember after we face fell here. I'm a little. I'm getting a little concerned with our lack of scaling on these guys. We need more regen. I probably should have took that initial regen card. We can play... We can't play all of this. We need to get this going, but I think maybe this is going to be more helpful for us. We, we need to get the Alabaster Guardians out of there. Do we want to start holding this over? I think so. I think we need to. Even though it's not going to do as much as we want it to. We play him. Okay, let's get that one going. We're going to take some damage here. And we didn't even, we're not even maintaining our armor well. Something to ascend. This is going to be good. This might be necessary. We don't have very many thorns down here yet. Twenty damage. Probably should have sended her before. Before playing that glimmer on the top, but we're not getting much armor. Consume. Oh, this will be good. And we can play him here. Play that again. And then that. Now we start just tearing people to shreds on that row. We're going to take some damage. What did that do? Oh, draw three cards. I was thinking that was the sting. That's not the sting. And we took the wrong card. 
So we took a little damage, but I think we'll be okay. Overall. I think we do this. He dies. Is that enough to kill him before we take damage? Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. Okay. We go here. I think we want to do this. I'd rather do this on the on fell, but I guess we could go here. But then we can't play the battering ram. So let's just do that. He's got 110 armor. All right, we've cleaned stuff up. Now we can start scaling. Let's play this one first. Let's play this one. Go here. It's 440 on fell. And we'll go more thorns. I'm kind of banking on not ever making it to the top row. Let's play this. It's not going to matter, I don't think. And we can trample. I don't know if trample's going to do anything either. We'll play him. All right, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, and it's doing 480 damage. He might die here. Nope, not quite. All right, it worked. I'd rather get that armor going on the top row instead of the second row, but double the amount of rage or more armor. We'll take another armor, and we need ember. For sure, we need Ember. I think we just want to upgrade our spells more. Um, enter the floor below the pyre room. Get dazed. That could be good. We'll take that. All right. Hold over on the branding right could be good. Sure. And we can reduce the cost and make it basically free. Or totally free. If we want to reroll. Plus 10 damage on something. We'll go with the glimmer. Reroll. Reduce the cost on this one one more time. That'll be a good combo with the restoration detonations too. Tw plus 20 and consume on a torch. So we have no gold. Remove consume. I didn't even pay attention to that one. Oh, I didn't have enough gold. Sorry about that with the mic. We're min-maxing on that hero and then not using him to do anything. <laughs> That's okay, I guess. Armor 20. Sure. At this point, I don't care. We're just taking the challenges. Go for the score, I guess. We could have some problems here. This glimmer is going to be good. If we do this. Glimmer. We could put him in back so he starts getting slay. Yeah. We kill the front two guys. He's only taking six damage. We didn't make it. Well. Because they're not dying to the thorns yet. So that guy's going to probably get through. <laughs> Let's go here. We'll do a glimmer up here. Steel worker on the top row. And more thorns. That steel worker is going to have some problems. He's not taking any damage though. What do we, we have not played anything with consume yet. But we have some here. Ooh, we're in trouble. We could draw more cards and more cards. Trample. We'll give him trample. He's got a lot of attack. That pushes him through those guys nicely. He's going to get some damage on our pyre. That's going to hurt a bit. 
We could pull the trample back, but we won't have enough energy to play it again. Let's do this. Two available. I maybe should have done this one first. Yeah, we did get the trample. Um, that puts him in range so he only gets two ta attacks off instead of three. But I don't think I think this is more important right now. Although maybe holding on to that would have been better. Let's go here. I th we might want to just send him right up. Three times fifty-five. One. Fi yeah, he'll die. Okay, we'll do here. I think we do branding right. That guy's not dying either. We can ascend him. Or we can consume torch him. If we send him up... Um, he wouldn't have done any damage. But we want to get rid of that torch. Mm, I think we play the imp. This to get him out. Probably should have put him in front. There's that, there's that. We might have to put some armor on him to keep him alive. He's dying. Yeah. We'll just pump a lot of armor into him. I don't know that that does anything, but maybe gets us an extra kill with the hero, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. He's got trample already. We can go up here. We'll do that. We'll give him trample. I don't think it matters. And then we'll play this just to hold on to it. Okay. We'll go here. Glimmer. Glimmer. He's dying already. That was pretty quick. Our hero had a lot of... That trample will give him multiple kills on one run. Uh, we'll take another. Or on one attack. It's really helpful. Um, awake might be good. Restoring retreat might be better. It will give us something to do with our Awoken Hollow. We can drop him down behind the front row. Um, do we want to... Do we have more spell upgrades that we need to get this cheese combo going? The one that we we could remove consume and hold over. And if we can remove consume on these, sure. Let's go this way. Take the gold, remove two cards. What do we want to remove? A torch. And... I don't know if we want to... Re we'll remove a an Ascend. We haven't been using those anymore. Let's see. What do we get? Double stack. Let's reduce the cost. What? Did, what? The sap one? Okay. We'll reduce the cost of something. We'll reduce the cost of a... Restoration detonation. Plus 10... On this one for more healing. Double stack. Could double stack that. Six days is a lot. <laughs> I don't know if we need it with the extra attack on our pyre. Let's go double stack here. Reroll. Permafrost. Permafrost kind of helps. Permafrost on the steel pulley claw could help. We'd have it when we really need it. Or sure, we'll we'll do that. It's hard to play at two cost. It's a little harder to play, and that and that way we will be able to play it when we need it because we'll have it. Um, let's reduce the cost of this. Can we get anything even? First time each turn, a unit's heal, draw one card. 
or 50% chance to discard consumed cards. We do have a lot of good consumed cards. But I don't know if we want to discard these. We might be better off drawing more cards. Let's go here. Why not? It'll be fun. It kind of works into our cheese combo a little more. Okay. Let's see. This is going to be tough. It's gonna be t I say that every time, and then it goes real smoothly so far. Sap 3. We did not get anything to kill him with easily. Oh, we did not get our Thorned Hollow. That's the, the, a big problem. He's doing 100 damage. He's doing 30 damage. The problem is if we put these on the first row, we can't drop the Thorn Hollow behind him. Well, we do this, I think. We go... Well, we put... Oh, man. This is, like, a little tough. I think we have to go on the second row. I think we go on the second row. That way we can drop the stuff behind. And I think we hold on to him. We took damage. I could have killed him, but I didn't feel like it. Okay, there. That's good. We can go here. I think uh, we put this guy in the top row. Now the problem is if we... Oh, we can't descend these guys yet. If we started descending, then either he's down and these guys make it up the top, or he goes down, he dies. Oh, we could do this, though. We could do this. And get an energy back. I don't know if we want to do that descent. We can descend this guy, I guess. That could be really bad. If we descend him, that's 90, 104, 108. He'll still be alive. I don't think we can afford it yet. We have to come back around to that. Okay. This guy is good down here. I think we put Trample. He's not going to take Thorn damage, but that's okay. I think we put this here, keep him alive, do a little damage to that guy. He'll have one health left. So we took 10 damage. I think we, we should be good now, though. I think we're pretty much in the clear. What do we have to kill this row, though? We've consumed a trample and draw cards. Let's do this. Actually, let's do this first. Another one could kill him. We did get our battering ram. So we can start picking away at, on that stuff up here, actually. I'm a, I'm a little overwhelmed with everything going on at the moment. <laughs> um, we might ascend him. Yeah. Just to, so we don't have to deal with him. Here's the problem. We have to use these spells to get rid of these guys. He'll die, but... We want to kill both of them. We get more, more thorns down here. This will kill him. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this, actually. We got that one back. That's not the one we wanted back. But, oh, he comes in with sap. We're taking 10 damage from that backliner. Oh, we took damage from that guy, too. He had enough armor to survive still. Okay. We need to keep this guy alive, though, so we'll play that on him. We don't want to kill him with our own cards. 
was that uh, 150 jump him up we'll go here we really want to be getting this armor on this row it might be worth it to play that here but we kind of want to do the cheese <laughs> I'm really sold on this armor cheese method even though it's really costing us a lot actually there's that this can kill the back line this kills the front line sure and I think we'll go here We're holding that card over, which is hurting us on card draw a little bit. Okay, this helps a lot now. These guys are not dying, so we'll move those down. He can move. Do we want him to move down? I don't... We want to move our hero down. Or our champion. Okay. We're going to put restore on him to keep him alive. There's that. This is going to do a lot of damage. 1,020 damage. <laughs> Alright. We're getting there. That's pretty good. We can take it. Um, we'll do another one here to kill that guy. Actually, is this going to kill him? No. Alright, we'll kill him with that. Branding right again. I'm kind of thinking we just let the rest of this stuff go. Right, and we just kill on the top row. The problem is if stuff dies. If stuff doesn't die before it gets to the top row, we're going to have more of a problem. He doesn't attack, so we can do that. Let's go here. It's only taking 100 damage. We'll get rid of this guy. All right. Well, we win. Good job. Let's stick this guy here. Trample doesn't do anything at all. Let's keep... Let's uh, do this. Here. We'll give him another health so he can take one more hit. Kill there. Try and get that out of the deck. That doesn't... Another one doesn't do anything. So we'll heal him again. <laughs> And the moment we've been waiting for. One thousand three hundred twenty. All right. Well, we pulled off the armor cheese. We took forty damage. It wasn't that as smooth as some of the other runs, but we got it early, and so we could build all those spells to work well. <laughs> And fortunately, we had a lot of health to start with, so it didn't it didn't hurt us to let some of that damage through. In fact, uh, we probably wouldn't have had to let any damage through if we weren't going for that armor build. And eight more mastered cards. What do we unlock? Alpha Fiend. He's good, especially if you get double strike on him. That that can be a powerful card. This one, I really like him. He's a good one. He needs a little bit of an attack boost to start with, but he starts sweeping and killing all the little stuff on the bottom row. And if you get quick on him and, like, quick on him with a large stone or plus 10 health, plus 5 attack, can it be devastating. This card is kind of interesting. Can be really good with sting decks, but... That two minus two card draw really hurts sometimes. So that's all she wrote. Oh, let's see. We've unlocked some more gold. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.